What's up guys? Welcome to my Lux YouTube channel, you know, one source for trending news, celebrity gossip and entertainment news. If you guys are joining us for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos. Choma and her parents are affected by our relationship. We'll get married by now. They will say. Bindo has disclosed why his relationship with Choma went from public to private in the last few months. Recounting how good their relationship was before it goes to public space after the assurance music video. The superstar singer disclosed that the fake messages Choma and her parents were getting from Facebook people affected their relationship. Also narrating how the pressure from outside it affected their marriage plans. They just stated that they will get married but not now as they have realized that their relationship is between them. Like, she's getting like 5,000 messages from people that they want to face into account. Same nonsense. Hate messages. So now they want somebody that has gone from being private to overnight. Even her parents mm. used to get hate texts. Like, crazy. What kind of hate texts? What are they hating on? Just nonsense. Like, it came really, really bad. And I was like, damn, people are just... Right. People just don't like something good. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it affected our relationship a lot. So, even that time, when I decided to just go off my me, I just started to like, look, we're not telling anybody anything. Because, like, before, you know, Shara's video, like, stuff was so cool. Yes, man. So, the dynamics really changed even between you guys yeah. once it became a public relationship. Yeah. yeah. It now became like everybody's relationship. Yeah. Kind yeah. of. Like, imagine me walking through the airports. The one, like walking the airport, I remember like I think I was in Barcelona or somewhere crazy. Oh my just pushed me back. But like but I'm marrying my in-law, I'm like, bro, like, what the I, I think that's like, this place where when you're a public figure, people feel like they have a right to be part of your life in so yeah. many ways. And the question is, how do you continually deal with that? Do you feel pressure to officially do the wedding? I did, but now you don't. Okay. I actually did feel pressure, but like I didn't feel like it's between me and her. Not her parents, not public. Yes, not her sisters, not her brothers. Between me and her. Yeah. And do you guys want to get married? Or of, of course, not eventually, yes. Okay. But right now, it's not the time. Davido explains how the fight between him and his first baby mama, Sophia Momodo, ensued. Davido also said he felt her uncle, Dele Momodo, was intruding in their relationship. He also disclosed that they were able to patch things up for the sake of their daughter, Imadi. Yeah. Do you feel like, um, in so many ways, you know, when you released Assurance and before there was a lot more freedom and openness in terms of talking about you and Chioma's relationship, mm -hmm. uh, w why did you decide to go that route and why have you changed in terms of you guys are a bit more private now? Mm -hmm. Ah, because people are wicked. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you don't want to know, like, even before, like, even, I remember I don't did this song. Like she was just around in the house. Like, mm -hmm. Let's do it. 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 Let's do it.
but I'm my, my in-law, I'm like, bro. <laughs> I, I think there's like, this place where when you're a public figure, people feel like they have a right to be part of your life in so yeah. many ways. And the question is, how do you continually deal with that? Do you feel pressure to officially do the wedding? I did, but now we don't. Okay. I actually did feel pressure, but like, I didn't feel like it's between me and her. Not our parents, not public. Yes, I know our sisters, not our brothers. Between me and her. Yeah. And do you guys want to get married? Or oh. Of course, not eventually, yes. Okay. But right now, it's not the time. I'm so happy that now she's like getting to the money. Of course. Yes, that's something she should have been doing. Getting right. to the money, you know, um, for her, hopefully, trying to build a house soon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so just make everything, just make the foundation solid and not yeah. just do something because we're riding on the wave of what people want. Do you understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? What was it like being with, you know, your fiance and actually watching her? Be pregnant and also Bro, like craziest nine months of my life. <laughs> Not only oh, that, you now have a baby that's living in a house with you. Whereas before, with your mothers of your other children, yeah. you know, you see them, they come and go. What was that? What was that like for you? I mean, first of all, like um, with the Chioma, she she did most most of the nine months in London, and I was okay. there, and like I had to like it was crazy. Like I salute all, <laughs> I salute all women around the world. I kind yeah. of like to be like. I saw him in pain, I started to, like, it was crazy, like, I did all, like, like I was useless at some point. Mm -hmm. you, you know, like, you know how it is just taking care of someone pregnant, and, mm -hmm. like, my boys were with me, well, London was cold, I know me, I sometimes I smoke, sometimes they'll come, I'll pay, like, so much money for one apartment, we just smoke, we just come kick us out, <laughs> carry, out carry out the bags, middle of London, on the yeah. road, and you, like, it was crazy, moving, moving, and finally, October came, like, we waited, we were waiting, everybody was. And then yeah, the really? day came. Do you change diapers? Nah, nah, but I've changed them first. Did you wake up at night, like do all the feeding in the middle of the night kind of stuff? Not really. None of it? Because at night I'm out, so like, you know, like, right. the difference with me is just like I'm an entertainer, so mm. like, you know, I was like, yo, I can be gone days, come back, on, go on, go on, just, but it was like during the pregnancy, I was hands on, and immediately she gave birth, I had to go back on the road right. to make up for everything I had missed. Of course. That's of when course. we dropped Miss P, came for December, she couldn't come back for December, so I was just, yeah. I was just there in the but right now she wants to go go for a cooking course. Okay. Because she wants to do like a cooking school. That's in, really, in Nigeria. That's really cool. It sounds as if you guys have really come to a place where you're building like a long term relationship. And you mentioned that you have great relationship between yeah. all your kids yeah. and the mothers of all your kids have yeah. a great relationship. How do you make how do you guys make decisions? Like with the your I don't I'm not gonna use the word baby mama, the yeah, mother yeah, yeah. of your children. Like, how do you guys make decisions? Let me not lie to you. You guys like, had a hard not, time. Yeah. Especially you and um Imadi's yeah, mom. Yeah. How did you guys perfect. get to a place where you're finally like, well, at least we, I call she calls we pick up each other's phone calls? Me, I'm so Do you understand? Like I feel like like with, with Imadi's mom, like me I would best of friends. The, the fight was between our families, if you think about it. Right. You understand? It was never really a thing of me and her having a personal problem. You know, I felt like her uncle was trying to, to take, I felt like this person right. was trying to take advantage of the situation that, oh, you know, he's, um, he, he's not his daughter. Right. Yes, but he was like a father figure to her because she lost her dad, so he came in and he found You know, good dealing her, instead mm. of like she. So I saw that opportunity to do all that. And, it was just crazy, so the relationship was sour for years. Yeah. You know, she was young, you know, all those times, so she didn't even know. Mm -hmm. When you understand that, look, this girl is going to start getting older, and going to start understanding. She started going to school, do you understand? She has friends there that know who I am. Right. So you just understand that, look, let's do this for this girl. Were you ever romantically involved with any of them? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't just like one night stand no, no, or anything? No, no, no. And no, did no. you think you were going to end up with any of them, long term? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David is like, yeah, yeah. What changed? I don't know, my life, I yeah. guess. Um, with Sophie, I was really, really young. I had money, I was 21. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am 21, 22, I think. I was really, really young. Um, with Haley's mom, you know, that's my G, like, till today, that's my very good friend. Mm -hmm. um, I was in America at the time because this is when I first signed my deal. Mm. First time I did, so I was in America for like almost a year. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of, you know, as in kick, you know, like right. we're dating, and then I just, I just, I wasn't feeling the whole Yankee um, living in America, so right. I came back to Nigeria for Christmas. Time. Yeah. <laughs>